queen of the murder scene continues. Lunario 2018. Let's go. Hey there. We're going to start off tonight with The Sacrifice from Lunario. Let's go. Please don't hide from me. I see through the fixed smile that you've been wearing around. Don't lie to me. I see through the facade that you're portraying as everything starts to collide. You can't forget though you have tried. that song that has a lot of nice change-ups in it and I got to see Ale playing her bass a little bit more so now I can get a better understanding of just how much work she's doing over there <clears throat> she was all over that neck 
I also was kind of impressed with uh, Danny singing right through all the riffs that she was running. That takes practice, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but I was, uh, it was nice to see. It was nice to see her um, stretching out there like she did. All right, so that was the sacrifice. And now we're going to move on to Sinister Smiles. So here we go. Girl, there is something you don't know You have nothing left but this body you control I walk away, but before I could start Sinister Smile shut me up And they opened up their mouths to say Great, great, just break apart Great, great, just break apart Still doorman 
That was very nice. Uh, uh, they were all on point vocally. Um, I was just trying to, I, I was just thinking how much that reminds me of 70s, late 70s, early 80s rock. You know, I'm not talking about the commercial 80s rock that came in, but some of the, the more uh, straight ahead hard rock. Uh, as it continued to develop throughout the 70s. I just, I can't believe that they're that age and performing at this level and singing uh, and at this level and also writing at this level. That was an excellently written song. The outro being repetitive like that was in, um, mesmerizing. It's a, it's a very excellent song. I really like the, the song a lot. It's, so uh, I could see why you guys wanted me to see this uh, live like this before I would actually maybe listen to the album. Um, speaking of doing things on my own, um, and a, not, a, a user that wishes to remain anonymous has sent me several videos, which I am grateful for. And um, they are... <sighs> Well, let me just tell you what they are. Um, one is the Hit Like a Girl competition that when Powell was 16, she was a judge of, uh, or at least made a judge at that point. Uh, and uh, then Powell teaches a class, a master class at 16. Uh, there's some vlogs that were sent to me, as well as an interview with um, Allison Hagendorf or Hagendorf. All of these videos are very long, and so I won't put them up here. But I promise this weekend I will spend some time uh, watching these to give myself a better education about these young ladies. Um, I love them. Their straight-ahead rock and roll style is no nonsense, no frills. Uh, I mean, that was one of the first things that attracted me to rock and roll way back in the early 70s was the... The No Frills rockers, like Ted Nugent, who told Guitar Magazine, I wouldn't have a pedal between my amp and my and my, and my guitar. You know, I, I do everything with the feedback from the amp. Well, <clears throat> I don't think you need to go to that extreme, but I get that sentiment. It's He's looking for that purity of the rock and roll, and I think they express that better than, probably better than any band I've heard in terms of... Uh, Raw energy and pure rock and roll. This is the purest form of rock and roll I think you can you can listen to. And I just don't. Uh, I mean, I I'm sure I'm not saying this very well, and I'm not going to go on and on about it. But uh, they um, all the all the stuff that they have to do as a power trio is just simply um, they're executing without any uh, without any issues whatsoever. Um, and when they have them, they overcome them right there on the spot. And that and and this concert was what five and a half years ago. So uh, what I saw at the VMA blew me away. I mean, that, you know, they're maturing, obviously. Uh, but what I mean by that is that even though you can see the difference between the two performances, you can see from the earlier performance, this one, that they were going to get there, and they did. Their support network must be awesome, uh, and y'all have been telling me that. Mom and Dad, and and the, the uh, tutors, and and the and the other kinds of mentors out there in the business. So um, that's it, all very important. It it keeps you motivated when you get out of bed some mornings and go, I just can't keep doing this. So and you know you never say I can't keep loving music, but you, sometimes you say today I don't want to do it. I don't want to go to that nightclub and be there till one in the morning or that concert and and uh, then have to, you know, go through everything you go through trying to go home and go to bed and get up and have a normal day. So I'm really enjoying this series. Uh, and I'm going to close with saying I'm going to be um, offline for uh, Saturday and Sunday and possibly Monday uh, as I arrange some do some maintenance things here and also some family um, time so and i have to leave town to do that 
So I'll be gone uh, at least till Sunday night, possibly Monday night, at which time we'll fire back up on Tuesday. But hopefully I'll be back or I'll be able to be up and running on Monday. All right. So uh, I appreciate you all very much. I thank you for all your support. Uh, Y'all have been awesome. Hit the thank you button if you can. Hit the subscribe button for sure. And um, that will uh, get us over the top for monetization. And uh, I'm pretty close. Thanks to y'all. So have a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye now. We'll